I was looking for a different way. Some of the traditional stuff just wasn't working for them. It only took them so far. It's almost like they hit a plateau on the gymnastics program and we couldn't get past it without that shift. I felt less nervous about hurting myself. I felt like I really was able to improve as the season went on. The strongest I'd ever felt. I was just getting new skills left and right. Everything was so much easier and it was wild. Even my coaches were like, what did you do? I thought, is this going to translate to gymnastics? And the answer ended up being yes. Hybrid programs are really what we're going for. We don't want to replace traditional methods, but an updated science-based hybrid model to strength conditioning for gymnastics, it just makes the most sense in terms of the scientific benefits of how we blend it. The folklore is no, don't worry about it. Just push through it. This is normal. Growth plate's normal. Fractures are normal. Spiny fractures are normal. No big deal. And I was 10 years into coaching at this point, And I was like, I have never heard any of this. None of it. I'm like, where the hell was this in my coaching education, right? They were like, do floor routines until your legs get tired and then do a dismount. That's a good idea. 85% of the people in gymnastics coaches are amazing humans who just got really terrible education. A lot of the things we see in the 16 plus age group are products of what we aren't doing optimally or well at the 10 to 14 year old level with burnout, injury, stalled performance, frustrations. A lot of these things come down to if you don't have enough strength, enough power, enough technique, good technical awareness to get through those years of puberty that are really hard on the athlete's body. They're clear to get back training in the gym on events, but are they really truly prepared to handle the stressors of all those hard landings and poundings day after day, week after week, month after month? And oftentimes I think you see that that's not the case. The real opportunity now being obviously making sure that that information of these top programs that are integrating it is trickling down to the everyday competitive coach who's in a club and that those coaches can start to embed it into a standard program for the younger athlete. What can we be doing with our eight-year-olds, nine-year-olds, ten-year-olds and so on to give them the best chance of getting to that stage? I always say like human first, general athlete mm -hmm. second, and then the sports specific athlete third. This is not just like I put on 10 pounds and it's 10 pounds. It's very lean muscle mass that has a functionality and they're actually their body comp is better than it ever was. We're increasing potential for power. Getting bigger muscle fibers gives us the potential to produce a little bit more force. God, it's crazy to me to think about how much performance and how much health benefits are left on the table because we just have not been open-minded to new ideas and radically different concepts of how we approach it. There's just been a long cycle of like this old school philosophy in gymnastics of just like numbers, 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 volume, 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 like the more we do things over and over again, the more likely we are to be able to get that scale. And I think that's why athletes break down. But the coach that I first worked with said that gymnastics is moving your own body weight with gravity and then weightlifting is moving your body around a barbell. It's an equation, man. It's just, it's force. Force greater than force handled. It's real. It's real and it has a big impact on their body. And if you don't respect the lack of force tolerance, whether it's their pre-puberty or not strong enough, and you're exposing them to super high skills, whether that's on trampoline or vaulting or floor, something is going to buckle. It's misunderstanding about like the bulkiness, the loss in flexibility, that people are going to get hurt. Like that's long been proven in research. But the other part is just fear of judgment and fear of change. People are scared to jump off the cliff without a parachute and do something new because they're worried about they'll get mocked at or they'll lose success and stuff and so nobody wants to embrace a new idea do you think that without the strength training you would be in a different spot with your gymnastics today i don't think i would be doing gymnastics today i don't think my body would be able to keep up injuries would have completely stopped me from doing the sport i love i think people see you know the instagram videos with 300 pounds on their back and they're like eh, i'm not gonna do that to my kid and it's like that's not where i started and that's not where my athletes started the misconception is Oh, you're lifting weights? Are you trying to bulk up? I was my leanest going into my senior year and I started doing Olympic lifting. It's hard when it's drilled into your brain at such a young age that it's quantity and how many turns can you take? How many reps can you do? But at the end of the day, my best gymnastics was when I scaled down on the reps and was able to just like build my strength to do more quality reps. If you don't buy into what you're doing with them, they're not going to do it with intent. Taking the time to explain to them, you know, this is going to allow you to tap harder, swing around the bar more efficiently, produce more force so you get more time in the air. And that's one thing I normally get is like, imagine if I could give you some more time in the air, what you could do. Imagine if I gave you the ability to stick things that you just couldn't dream of doing safely. And it's like little conversations like that that just spark their imagination of like, okay, 
that's interesting. I do want that. We're doing these crazy skills. We need to be powerful. And if we don't have the muscles to do it, you're just going to end up injuring yourself. And then it's like eight weeks hit and he was like, okay, we're bumping up the weights. Let's get after it. Yep. And those two months were the strongest I'd ever felt. It was just incredible to see my body change, get bigger, mm. stronger, stay lean. Now it's such an important part of who I am as a gymnast and an athlete. Weightlifting for me has been an absolute blessing. It really made me look outside of the gymnastics box, you know, to look at other sports, to look at how other groups train. We usually get stuck in our little mold. Well, this is gymnastics and this is all you do. And then you, you don't branch out, you don't evolve. Development as a coach has helped me every year get better. You wanna make sure that you're doing the best you can. And sometimes getting outside of that box without resources is really scary. You know, I know this, but what if I add that and I do it wrong? A coach who is saying, okay, I'm gonna try this. Just go basic. Don't make it crazy, man. Don't make it silver over your head and make these fancy drills like Instagram strength conditioning world is brutal right now because you see all these fancy things. A big limiting factor to the lack of progress in the strength conditioning world for gymnastics is fear of the unknown and fear of like, you know, am I going to miss an opportunity because we're spending time on here? Like anybody who's listening to this, whether you're a coach, medical artist, take the first step and extend the handshake halfway. Don't be afraid of interdisciplinary care. Allow yourself to allow people in that want to help. It's going to push you. It's going to push your athletes to another level. Completely helped my power on floor and Floor was my favorite event. You know, back when I was younger, it was always preached upon me like a very traditional form of training. So gymnastics and weightlifting had nothing to do with each other. It was actually discouraged. A lot of people before thought gymnastics makes you strong. Gymnastics just makes you strong. You're a gymnast, of course you're strong. And it's like, well, we need to put some effort in outside of just the sport. If you look at professional athletes across any field, strength and conditioning is a staple in their training. When we started the program, we made it an option. I mean, it was night and day because when all the kids came back together in September, you could just see, you could see who did strength all summer. That group of kids didn't get injured. They were so healthy all season. It was amazing. I think we're seeing a movement towards a very important athlete-centered model in terms of like protecting the athletes from unnecessary suffering, from loads of overuse injuries, from just endless years of discomfort after their career is over. We have a responsibility as a team of professionals in charge of kids to help them be safe throughout their journey. Doing traditional body weight every single day, so we're never gonna get rid of that. What we're talking about, which is the big change, is using gymnastic-specific weight training with the single goal of adding more power down the road.